All right, we'll get back here for round two. Again, we've got to ship this hand. My, at least my opponent mulliganed as well. And this hand's not great, but I think I'm going to keep it. Like, I don't really want to go down to five. Yeah, we'll keep this. At least my opponent's on six. We'll put that on top. It, it enables, it's just another redraw, so putting it on the bottom is the same, but it enables delirium. All right, playing its burn. So we actually do need that Street Wraith on top, just because we do need, if we're going to win this game, we have to hit delirium. And we're going to be three quarters of the way there after this turn, probably. I'm going to stub anything. Over on Tomb. Nice. Getting all kinds of value off this Goblin Guide. All right, my opponent. We'll fetch a tap land. All right, we'll just go like this and pass. Probably a... I guess I'm going to abrupt decay this thing. I wish I had a fatal push. Just a piece of one mana. I should have gotten the breeding pool so that I could have fetched. That was a mistake. There's a sequencing. I forgot the breeding pool was in my deck. I should have got the breeding pool so that I can get a basic and save me two life. Again, I guess I'm just going to stub this. Next turn, I can fetch a basic and get this and then have stub up for a spell. We're pretty far behind, but... Well, that's going to catch us up. And we'll pass. So that makes my Death Shadow a 7-7. Seven, seven. We fetch a red source. Block this. 7. Fetch. Nine, six, five. I guess we're going to stub it just to make sure we get a target for this. I'm going to block. Then we're going to fetch a tapped red source. And then, like, kind of hope our opponent doesn't have anything. So I'm just going to decay this to make this a two-turn clock. I know 8 and eight's only 16, but I'm going to assume that my opponent has at least one spell of interaction here. And, again, we're just going to kind of hope that we dodge a lot here. Like, we're basically just going to ask our opponent, if they have it, they have it. If they don't, they don't. Hold the land, because it doesn't matter. Wow, we might live through this. I would like to draw my third stub. All right, we're going to go in, fetch, we're going to try to nine him. There's no sense casting Thoughtseize, because that makes it so he needs only one burn spell to kill me. It appears like I'm going to die here. So there's one. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. That's how that goes, though. Okay, so our matchup here, actually, so we have a couple of aces to bring in. We got these. I think I'm going to cut. I like cutting. I like keeping two street wraiths in my deck because I think it's important to be able to get delirium. And I like cutting one thought seize. This is what I've been doing. The Kozlex returns kind of like meh. At least kill something, but I think that my cards here are better than that. So yeah, let's see if we can recover here and win the last two. It's what happened when we were playing uh playing modern. The last round, we lost the first game, won the two sideboard games. So I'm gonna keep this hand because we have Death Shadow and Teamer Battle Rage. I'm gonna traverse for a swap on one though. And then Inquisition. Either Inquisition or uh, probably, probably, maybe play Tarmogoyf. It depends on what my opponent does. I'm inclined to play Tarmogoyf if it'll survive a, uh, if it'll survive anything. If it's not, if you can just get bolted, then I'm not going to play it. Okay, there's Goblin Guide. Abrupt Decay. So three, Inquisition. So take two, 14. I think I'm going to hold up Abrupt Decay. But I might take the shot from this Goblin guy just to get this Death Shadow online. Land. Stub, okay. Two, four, six. Take three. You have to take this so that I can have a chance to play my Death Shadow next turn. Get this. Play Tarmogoyf. Pass. We're going to go to 10. It's going to be a tough one to win. I need to draw a red land, because if I can get Teamer Battle Rage, then we'll be in good shape. I'm just going to me. Maybe I had... I should have blocked last... I should have done that before... I should have Abrupt Decayed before taking that damage last turn. That was a mistake on my part. Which will probably cost me this game. Rift Bolt... Okay. Attack. Let's check out what's in our opponent's hand. Because I think I'm going to go Inquisition. Attack. Skull crack seven. This is gonna take me to so this takes me to seven. That takes me to four. This takes me to one. Okay. So I think my opponent's dead. I do have to stub this. So let's get Blood Crypt. I have to stub this because if I let this resolve, my opponent draws a creature, then I'm dead. But this leaves me soft to Boros Charm. But I can beat a creature. If I do this, can't beat Boros Charm, but then can beat anything else. So we're dead to charm. Don't draw a charm, bro. Rift bolt me to one. Okay. Got 
Got him. <clears throat> that was tight. That was tight. But we couldn't beat Boros Charm. We had everything else checked. So, again, I don't think we change anything. Keep it like this. I'd like to be able to cut... I don't. I guess that's the problem with the five color version is you don't have as many good cards for burn. Like you can't get all the cards of damage out of your deck. Yeah, we'll keep this. We have a bunch of redraws and a bunch of uh, disruption. A turn one creature is going to suck. Yeah. Street rays. Our top cards in Inquisition. So, 15, 13, Thought Seas. I think I just take one. And I think I'm going to just hold on to this. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Double Eye Line is going to be tough. So I guess we'll just take this Eidolon, and then we'll take another shot from our opponent. He probably will just deal two to us. Two Battle Rage. Oh, it's a bobble. Okay, that's all right. Mountain idol on K. Okay. okay, so play Dash Shadow, go to eleven. Play my fetch land. Get it tapped. I can block anything because of the street wraith. Don't play anything. It's got six points of burn. Six, 11. Okay. I have to go 10. So I'm basically at 11, 10, six points, two. Opponent's going to be able to empty their hand next turn. I think I just play this Death Shadow. And then play this land. And I'll just block my opponent attacks and I'll fetch. If my opponent wants a I think I'm at the point of the game where if my opponent wants a point of burn spell at this death shadow, then we'll let that occur. There's the mire. I'm going down to eight. My out might just be Team or Battle Rage at this point. Like maybe I can't even buy this deck in paper. Do you think it's a good choice? You just think Shadow is far away. No, they won't ban Shadow or Street Wraith. Um how do I win? Play. Tarmogoyf puts me to eight. Sorry. Tarmogoyf puts me to eight. Then I have to block both of his creatures or he kills me. I could just not. Yeah, we're going to play this tapped. So maybe I just attack, but if I attack and play Tarmogoyf, then he just kills me.
If I go thought seize, I take four, and then he kills me. God, this Eidolon's just going to get me. Yeah, I think we're we're dead either we're we're pretty dead. I guess I'm going to give my opponent the opportunity to make a mistake. Mm hmm You're right, I agree with that analysis. I should have done this differently. I should have played my Tarmogoy like free combat to pump this thing. That was stupid. We could have done two more damage in. My opponent appears that my opponent sees it. And we'll just hope that our opponent makes a mistake. I don't know. I, I don't really think I have a better line of play. If he attacks both creatures, we're just dead. Yep. Yeah, that sucks. I guess we, we beat a good matchup, so I guess it only makes sense that we... We beat a bad matchup, so it only makes sense we lose to a good matchup. Let's get back into this. So let me turn off my recording. 